Let's speak we are in Paris. We see many iconic locations. We experience the highs and lows of what Paris has to offer. Glorious architecture, but crazy traffic. Join us as we tour around magical France. We take in amazing provincial regions. We visit incredible chateaus. We marvel at historic cities. And we explore exotic film locations as we take you on a journey of discovery around this marvelous country so full of wonder, history and warm people. Learn something new in every episode as you join us on this intimate journey around the friends you need to see. Last episode we were in magical Chantilly. It was a lovely afternoon in the sun as we kicked off our friends adventure. taking us to the same spot where the road was blocked so we had to just basically change our route so go somewhere where we can go to because the was a non-functioning roundabout and it was all roads kept leading back to it and we would have just been stuck going in an endless death loop <laughs> so we've gotten out of that we're heading to the Eiffel Tower and then from there we'll see a few other sites and then we'll finish up on the uh, shops you can see the Eiffel Tower from here. Oh. So we are six minutes away, guys. We're getting closer. It's very busy. Wow, so cool. Paris. That's all the souvenirs. I need to grab some too oh, yeah. before we get there. Mountain going spot in Paris, and you probably guess where because it's just behind the amazing Eiffel Tower. It's actually my third time in Paris, and you forget how epic the Eiffel Tower looks and how grand and just tall and just iconic it is. Yeah, it's so busy here, it's crazy. But luckily, obviously, there is no transport allowed here, so we can just you know stand and talk here. And people coming up all the time and can get the with the Eiffel Tower. But it's 5 o'clock now, so it's the end of the day. But I reckon it's probably busy the whole day, yeah, because it's iconic. Yeah, so the plan is we're going to visit like the few sites and then we're going to chill a little bit. Yeah, we're going to try to find fast a couple of weekends. For the Exposition Universal of 1889 held in Paris, the organizers wanted the tower built as a centerpiece. Gustave Eiffel's firm won their competition in 1886. There was much opposition to the tower from Parisians. The tower, however, was an instant success at the Exposition. The tower has gone on to become an iconic symbol of France. been to Paris before as you can see here when we visited some years ago. Paris is a magical place and no doubt we'll be back again soon. But when you visit Paris you must always factor in traffic. Paris is a big city with a large population of some 11 million people. Naturally many of these people work in central Paris. Then there is the fact that Paris attracts millions of tourists each year with tens of thousands visiting at the same time. We marvel at all the magnificent sights we drive past as we make our way to our appointment to meet Vic's friend. But can we make it in time? We agreed to meet at 6 pm, but as we became progressively bogged down in traffic, that appeared to be less and less likely. 
Being stuck in traffic in a city as beautiful as Paris is no less frustrating than being stuck anywhere else. However, in amongst all the frustration, there is opportunity to engage in people watching and get a snapshot of the daily lives of ordinary Parisians. And that's the whole beauty of traveling. You see not only the extraordinary, but also the ordinary. You get to see how people are different, yet fundamentally the same. As someone once said, it feels good to be lost in the right direction. After all, life is a journey, not a destination. What we see and experience along the way is just as significant to what we see at our destination. What we remember is how location makes us feel, and those feelings and emotions is what I love the most about travel. And it took us probably an hour to get here from the Eiffel Tower. The traffic is absolutely crazy. Crazy traffic. As you can see, there's <laughs> tourists say, everywhere. It's a, it's a very, very popular hotspot here for tourists. They just flock in here. We're just driving around in circles to find the park. <laughs> just when we thought that things couldn't get any worse than the tourism of Prague, well, we have a yeah, new winner. I don't think I've ever seen a new market. Yeah, I'm comparing to anything. This is mad. It's absolutely mad. It's yeah. mad. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely recommend. It's an amazing view from here. We're looking at the mm. view. It's incredible. Mm. We're going to see it shortly. Sacre Coeur was constructed between 1875 and 1914. It is located at the summit of the Butte of Montmartre. From its dome 200 meters above the Seine, the basilica overlooks the entire city of Paris. Howdy guys, we are basically just on the outside, well, same spot, we just turned around. Yeah. Yeah, just so you can see the panoramic view behind me. And something amazing is happening actually right at this moment. <laughs> I'm being filmed twice. You filmed from every yeah. angle. <laughs> Filmings. It's unbelievable. And I feel like Emily in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's definitely an Emily in Paris. Yeah, so right. biggest room with me and we have another amazing, amazing person. Young Shin. Who, who, who does great filming. Filming as well. He's very sneaky. Yeah, I, I like didn't that. even know what to say. He's like he's blending in yeah. with the crowd. Yeah. And he's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a smile on his face. Come on, you guys. Cheer. Bye. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram on kellanicholas.au where you can stay up to date with my latest photos from our travels overseas and locally. Also smash the like button to this video and subscribe to get notified whenever a new video is online. We really appreciate your support. The colors and the ambience of Montmartre are immediately noticeable. It is hardly surprising that at the beginning of the 20th century, during the Belle Epoque, many artists lived, worked or had studios in Montmartre, including Claude Monet, Pierre Renoir, Picasso and Vincent van Gogh. Montmartre is also the setting for several hit films. In 1965, Charles Aznavour sang about Montmartre in his song La Bahim. He sadly recalls his youth in the district and laments that the Montmartre he once knew and loved is now long gone. But the Montmartre we experience this day is alive with color and with charm. Could Aznavour be wrong? Has Montmartre sold its soul? We will never really know. But on this magical night, we could almost hear the voices of the past telling us what Matra lives on. Howdy, guys! Back to you from Paris. It's 8 pm at night, and we've just had like a pasta meal, small, small pasta meal. Yeah. We didn't film there because it was just nothing else. It's not ordinary. Nothing to film. Yeah. And now, basically, we're finishing for the day. We're going back to our chateau. Hopefully, we can go to the bar if we're not tired. Okay, it's 8 o'clock, so it's gonna take us an hour to get back there.
we're back again guys we're just walking to our car and we saw it's just amazing time to film it's like a cool just behind me it's just gorgeous light now and it's just a different view at night it is. and we can hear some um, live music they're playing as well it's a great atmosphere here oh, yeah. it's still warm just nice weather tourists everywhere yeah and it's friday night like friday 8 p.m here. Despite the crazy traffic and overcrowding, we did enjoy our stay in Paris. We'll be back here again at the end of our trip, so stay tuned for that episode in the future. If you enjoyed this episode, do smash the like button and subscribe. See you next time. It's been an amazing stay for two nights. The room has been really beautiful for the day. Yeah, but it's so tranquil and peaceful in the morning.